Hi everyone, in this video tutorial we'll continue making our, our character. The issue we were having last lesson was um, that our guy would jump but keep jumping. So if I keep pressing the spacebar, I keep jumping. So we need to fix that. So jump into Mono Developer. Uh, we need to add some more variables in here. Uh, and we'll, I'll talk you through what we're doing as we go. I might just organize my screen. Windows left, if you didn't know. What I'm going to do is add some public variables, which we'll use just to help us link up um, things quickly as opposed to having to programmatically do it in private. So what we need to do is um, type in public, as I said public variable, capital T transform. So what we're going to do um, is, if we click on our player or any other object, we'll notice that there's a transform. Uh, every object has this and we can manipulate these positions. So we're going to use this in a moment to manipulate what's going on. So transform, we're going to call it ground check. Again, just note the, the camel case, the capitalization of the second word. Next we're going to do a public float. So remember a float was just any any number with a decimal point. And we'll call this ground check radius. The idea is with the variables is that we want to make sure that we can kind of make sense of what these are going to be doing. We're going to be adding extra variables in here when we save it. Uh, so what we're essentially going to do is add a little circle beneath our little character and say um, that if it makes contact with something else, uh, then it's true. Sorry, not that it's true, <laughs> that it's uh, got a certain space for error. Uh, and public, lastly, public, and we're going to use what's called a layer mask. And we'll call that what is ground and semicolon. So I'm just going to save this, control S. So in Unity, uh, when I update this, should happen quicker, great. On the right, player control script's been updated. Uh, I need to assign a ground check, a radius, and identify what is ground. So at the moment, if I click on nothing, I can see a few default layers, which are given in Unity by default. It's actually the same as at the top. And what I need to do is actually add a couple of layers. Okay, so by default, it so Unity somewhat appreciates that you'll have certain things going on, but we need to add a few more. So in layer 8, just going to add another layer called Ground, and tab button in layer 9, I'm going to add the tag of player. Alright, uh, this will enable me to use certain things. So if I say what is ground, obviously I'm going to identify what ground is. Alright, so now that I've used the, the layer mask, I'm trying to find what ground is. What I need to do is go to my prefabs and select all of them. I don't need to see all of the details here. Okay, yep. So just shift button, select them all, and I'm going to change their layer to ground. Yes, change children. What this is going to do is update these up here automatically for me. Okay, so not much has happened yet. Uh, if we press play, it's still going to be the same thing. Uh, so let's just have a play and have a look what's going on. I'll click on player. Okay, so. I haven't said what a ground check radius should be, nor what the ground check is, apart from just to say that the ground is what we're worried about. So if I keep pressing space, uh, nothing's changed yet. So we need to fix that. Um, so a couple of things that we need to do. Uh, we need to create an empty object in our player. And we're just it's going to be just a base position. So right click, uh, create an empty. And we're going to call this ground check. Ground check. And let's just identify where that is. Okay, I'm just going to move it to the bottom of my player. Because obviously we're having collisions at this stage with our feet more so than with our head. We want to know that if it's within a certain area of this little object that we're having a collision. If I go to my player back up here, um, where I'm looking for a ground to check. So if I drag that over. Awesome, and I'm going to give it a ground check radius of 0 
Um, probably the main reason to look at that is that my objects are, um, sorry, my box collide is about 0.5 in size. So if it's about half, that's giving us a bit of an error um, to fix things. So let's just press play, see what happens. I'm not expecting a whole lot to have changed. Great. Could still keep jumping endlessly, but we're set up to have some success in a moment. So I'm just going to go back to the programming. Um, need to add another variable. So this one we're going to call, again, this public, just so we can test it. Public, and we're going to say it's of type bool, which is either on, off, or true, true, false. Um, bool is grounded, and semicolon, and we'll just control S to save. And let's just watch what happens here when we click on play out, and we click on jump. Ideally, we're going to see this hopefully get ticked if things are working correctly. Right, not much is going on, probably because I need to do some programming. So let's go back and just uh, implement what we've done. So in the void update, I'm going to come down and just create a few new lines. It doesn't matter if I've got a few blank lines. I mean, it makes it a bit harder to see, but it's not going to cause an error if you see that. Um, what I'm going to do is, in the update, is grounded equals physics 2D dot overlap circle. And what this is going to do is create um, a hypothetical circle around that object. Overlap circle and it brackets and it's going to ask for a few different things. So just say ground check dot position first of all. Second, I'm going to give it the, a radius of size, ground check radius, which I can dynamically change its public variable. And lastly, I need to say what the layer mask is, um, which we can see here, layer mask. And this is the layer that we called earlier, um, what is ground? So what, sorry, space, what is ground? And I'll just semicolon that. Um, so hopefully this will almost work. I'm just going to add one more thing. Um, it's creating a little circle at the, posi at the position of the ground check dot position, saying that the circle needs to be 0.25 because that's what we set it to publicly and we've identified what the layer is. When we click play now, we'll see that ground is ticked every time we touch the ground. We're one step away from success. We just need to add a little bit more code to our script. So when we've got our input.get button down and jump, we need to add uh, a couple of a couple of letters, not much. Uh, so we're going to do a double ampersand, so it's shift seven, and and just get rid of this space. Uh, and what this means is in computing it's the same as saying and. It literally both have to be true. Uh, in order for this to work, and is grounded. So basically, if that bool, that boolean that we've uh, set up here is correct, then do this. So let's just Control S. I'm just going to press F8 to compile it. This just sort of speeds up the the process. So that was F8, and then come back to Unity. If I play it, hopefully without any errors, I'll only be able to jump once, and we can see that this is grounded. Is getting ticked. Cool. If I bash the space bar as much as I want, I can only jump once. Now in terms of my game, that could be a hazard because I can't quite get to the area. And I also have an issue with the side of that platform. Uh, we'll fix that up in another lesson.